Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I'm very excited to tell you that Movie Studio 16 Platinum is now out, and it's only $59.99 if you purchase it from new. If you do have the original version, then it's only $39.99 to upgrade. This new version of Movie Studio 16 comes packed with lots of new features, such as precise motion tracking, World class video stabilization, 360 video editing, new blue transitions, 5 ultimate, which I must say is fantastic. You can do lots of cool effects with those transitions. A few of those packages are listed below for new blue 5, such as Titler Pro Express, Fleur Template Pack, you also have a Cinema Collection Template Pack, and Stylizers 5 Cartooner Plus. In version 16, we also have Guided Video Creator. Create your videos while Vegas Movie Studio guides you, arrange your clips, add music and title, then finish and deliver. It also has mode-based workflows, interactive storyboard editing. And here is the list of the highlights that we just spoke about. Also, Fagus have been extremely kind and given me a code for Fagus Movie Studio 16 Platinum and also new Blue FX Transitions 5 Ultimate to give away to one of you lucky winners. Keep watching this video to find out how you can be within a chance to win that code. Now we're going to jump onto Fagus Movie Studio 16 Platinum and take a little look around the program and go through a few bits. And this is what the program looks like. As soon as you boot it up, this is the welcome screen you will end up with. As you can see, we have a example project that we can open or we can select what type of movie we would like to create. A widescreen movie for YouTube or TV or for a phone or a tablet. We can also select the creation type, we can select easy creation or more advanced creation if you are a more advanced user. For this video I'm actually going to select the example project and see what happens, I've not pressed this button yet, but fingers crossed it will open up a project template and there we go. This looks fantastic, as you can see at the bottom here we have our music, we also have our video and then we have a bit of video clips above the top here. So what I'm going to do is just go to the start and we're just going to use the arrows and slightly go through. We have the welcome screen now, welcome to Movie Studio 16 and that's cool. We have little animals and a bit of wildlife going on in the background. If I just zoom in using the mouse wheel, you can see each different section. We have video two at the top, video one at the bottom. If I just go along a bit, we have this person walking along, which is cool. And as you can see, the two clips here are going over each other, which gives that sort of blending in effect, which is extremely cool. If we go across, we can see that the text comes in there and also that's like faded in which is very cool. I must admit, I am extremely loving this program and it definitely is worth the money if you don't want to go for the pro version. It does offer a lot of the features that the pro version does. You can, like, wow, well, you can see on this video, you can do a lot of advanced things, which is great, especially if you enjoy making like montages or anything like that, if you're a bit of a gamer. And yeah, there we go, that's that video. That is, I must admit, that is very cool. Just gives you an idea of what you can sort of do in Vegas Platinum 16. Right, let's just have a little look on the, the left-hand side here. Add arrange media, add text. So we can right click here and we can go insert text media, which is the way that I always like to do it. And then we could just simply go test. We can then select our text and we can change the font to whatever we want. We can change it to bold, italic, 
and we can change the size. We can also add a bit of animation to that text. We can also add a shadow and an outline, which is great. We can then also, let's have a look, see what else we can do. Add video effects, which is all cool. I'm a bit of a sort of person that likes to actually right click on the timeline to add all my little bits and bobs. And then, for example, say if I've got video clip here, I'd then just drag it to the timeline like that. And then I'd do all my adjustments on the timeline, which is great because you can obviously do that in this version still which makes life for myself a lot easier. I've still got a lot of the options there that I want. We can then go across to Explorer, which would then obviously let me explore around on my computer and find video clips that I want to track to my timeline. We have all our transitions there. We have our video FX, which is all our like sort of effects and stuff, which is where you'd find your blue FX effects as well in there. And we also have like media generators. If we go to me um, video FX, we could then go to this video clip and add a TV simulator, for example. And there we go. As you can see, it's now added that effect to that clip, which is very cool. If we go along the top here, we have our project, which is where we can save our project we can then also go down to render and render our project we can go to edit which is where we can do your normal things such as undo copy paste and all that sort of bits and bobs we have view which is great we can adjust how the layout is of Fagus which obviously a lot of people like to adjust all the bits and bobs for example, if I go over here, I can drag the video preview bigger. I could drag this window across and whatever else you'd like to do. There we go. We can go to insert and obviously we can do all our other bits and bobs there. But like I said, I like to try and do as much as that as possible on the actual timeline. We can go across to tools and we can edit our video settings and stuff in here. If Let's just go to video track FX. There we go. Lots of, and oh, there we go. You have your new blue FX transitions and effects all here. We go on to like film color and stuff. You can add all that in. If we now go across to options, we can then go down to preferences and we can edit all our video settings and stuff in here. If you do find the program you want it to run a bit smoother and stuff like that then you can play around with any of the settings in here but to be honest I've never had to really do that I've never had a problem with Vegas when it comes to running smoothly and stuff and then you have help at the end and we can also click on show me how there we go and it has a lots of helpful guides in here if you get stuck, then you can use this. But I will be doing a few tutorials on this program. So if you haven't yet, subscribe and keep an eye out on that. And the bit that you have all been waiting for is how you can win yourself a copy of Movie Studio 16 and also the new Blue FX. Well, to do this, all you need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment below. The reason why you would like to win a Movie Studio 16 Platinum and the new Blue FX Transitions 5 Ultimate. I will announce the winner in four weeks time, which will be the 12th of April. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to check out the Fagus website. The link is in the description below. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like this video as well. Give it a good thumbs up. And that is it for me today. I will see you all in the next video.